Catalyst change agents that are really successful make time for the things that we know are important. And I don't mean we make time in general, like I put it on a to-do list or a sticky note and it kind of sits over here next to me. I mean that things on my calendar that don't serve the vision that I've set and the priorities that I have actually move. So we schedule the priorities. We actually get them onto our calendar. As I mentioned, Steve Jobs flew around the United States and the globe interviewing people in education to get clearer and clearer on his vision. He focused on the things that were going to support the vision and help him learn and iterate. If we don't do this, if we don't actually put our priorities on the calendar, that's the magical thinking. That's where the magic actually comes in. It can feel in that magic wand image, right? That change agents, the catalysts that we manifest and people do think we're magic. How do you do it again and again? But as I said, when we study the catalysts among us, it's really concrete that in moments where you've taken on a new challenge, right? This is part of why burnout is in the title of our book. When we take on a new challenge, we clear everything away and we just go deeply after this new thing that we're excited about. And so if you can do that with intention with all the things that you wanna manifest, it's gonna help you create change in a faster, more controlled and powerful way. It sounds really simple, I get it, but the disconnect often between what we say we're gonna do and the way we block our calendars is often large, right? Because we have all these phantom goals that we set that we say we're gonna get done, but we don't really create the space and time in our calendar. And so something I work on with coaching clients quite a lot is actually thinking through, well, where do I want to put the thing that I've been saying I want to do? I'm in the process of writing a book. I haven't made time for it. And so the first thing is actually getting it on the calendar. And then once it's there, if it's not happening, what is it that's stopping me from actually aligning to what I've got? So some questions to consider in this area. Number one. Are your highest priorities reflected in your calendar this month? Right? Like, Take an honest assessment. One, do you know what your highest priorities are? Number two, have you actually put them in? The next one is the majority of your time next week, right? Let's get really concrete, dedicated to your highest priorities. And then are they actually blocked on the calendar, right? Not the like, oh, I know that next week I'm gonna get to writing the draft for my, for my book, but is it actually, actually there?